All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we made it to the deep jungle and we noticed some ruins. Should we stop at these ruins? No, but we're going to... Um... Well, well, we'll make a note of them on the map at the, at the very least. There's some more ruins. Steel environs Irkalep. I'm making a note of these ruins, but I don't really... Sense... You experience a sense memory of roasted boar smell. Would you like to investigate? Sure. That's a... That's really funny. Goat folk haunt. So these are um, the deep jungles version of goat folk. They are like Esper goat folk. I'm sure, you know, I feel like... Are, are these holographic? These are holographic like huts. Wow, that's really funny. Um, I'm sure the deep jungle and the Baroque ruins would be a really good way of making some extra cash so we can actually like, you know buy the other pearl might be that that's exactly what we need to do um but for now let's go ahead and visit this village apparently i've never been here despite the fact that i have very good relations with them and we'll see if we can't um get our relations to like favored or loved wow we got some more reshef lore can't believe we're still discovering reshef lore at this point we got some village history I don't think I've ever been to a deep jungle village. We've like a we've got a some cragmensh. Actually, those are crystal cragmensh statues. Or El the elder is like a uh, seeker of the sightless way or something. One of the one of the psionic wielders. Let's see if we can't get a quest or also just like improve our relations. Loved by the villagers of Deva and Arachnids. Hated by a bunch of people. Who who cares? Let's make friends with them. So we're increased to 415. Um, I'm not going to take any reputation from them. I'm going to see if there's anyone else um, that I could get some reputation with. So we have two characters. This one, Legendary Voider, but they don't have any reputation. Shoot. Well, let's talk to the village apothecary. Maybe they have some. Nope. Uh, okay, so I guess it's only them. The wardens tend to not have any, despite the fact that they're wardens. So let's just talk to the elder and see if they have some quests. We might already be ready. Oh, we've got like freaking sad Amos sky bears, psychic thrall. These these look like they're all. What what is happening? These are Dromad traders and Psychic Thralls. Can we trade with them? They have actually, like, really decent stuff. Uh, hmm. Okay. They don't have, uh, whatchamacallit, of course. Zetachrome. This guy's got Zetachrome arrows, but that's the, you know, you can... Okay, they've got a Zetachrome dagger. Does that count? Does that count as having Zetachrome? I guess it does. I mean, technically they do have Zetachrome, but you know, they don't have any Zetachrome that I care about. Um, all right, well, this is cool and all, but uh, it's not really what we want or what we need. Let's see if we can't have the slints join us. If you would have them, yes. Oh, we have not come so far from the founding of Deva to allow these strangers in. What if they worship Kragmensch? No, we simply cannot do such a great favor for you. Okay, well, that means we my services are available for you. Um, a nearby lo location forgotten to our people, a rust bog. What pearls might this place hold? Jasper, arable land, a relic to the thickly furred? We must know. If you pinpoint it for us, we will con compensate you for your assignment. Assistance. What to say you? Uh, we hear it's located somewhere between four and five parasangs east of Ilishan Berth. Yes, I will do this for you. Okay, where is Ilishan Berth? Too famished. Okay, what kind of food do you have on offer? Shadow Volt Poultice. 
Whenever you take damage, there's a 16% chance you start phasing for 8 to 10 turns. Hey, that offers us another achievement um, a po possibility. Whenever you deal electric damage, there's a 25% chance one of your negative status effects is removed at random. That's kind of cool. Um, Nido Skeeto, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're now looking for a specific location. We're looking for a rust bog. Okay. Recover the amaranthine prism. Uh, Elishan birth. Assuming this is a ruin. Ugh. Elishan birth. Three east and six south of Eid Freehold. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to it now. Um, hmm. Okay, four to eight parasangs east of Elishan birth. So we're just going to go... This is actually uh, uh, kind of disappointing. Four to six. The thing is, is that it's in the mountains... So that means it's going to be a pain in the butt. And also the bog. I was interested in the bog. I am no longer interested in the bog. This bog is going to be highly disappointing. Is that Reshev? That is Reshev. Hello Reshev. Um, so there's apparently a way of telling which Parasang or part of the Parasang you're in. But I'm not sure what it is. There, somewhere it tells you. I'm just trying to figure out where it, te where it tells you. I, I, it doesn't matter. I can head east, but I, I kind of wanted to like figure this part out. What is this body text? No, that's not what we want. Like I wanna, I wanna figure out where, where are we? What parasang? What part of the parasang are we in? Um. So if I move east, oh, okay, southwest. So we're in the southwest corner. Um. So we want to go four parasangs east. One, two, three, four. We're going to be in the center, but then we want to go south. We'll go southwest just in case on the off chance we're, we're close enough already. We want to be four to six, right? Four to eight. Okay, so we're we're starting here. We There's nothing over here, so that means we're heading east from here. Anything cool in here? Nope. Anything cool in here? Nope. Okay, we're leaving. Goodbye. I mean, there's some trash here, so I guess, you know, I could get some extra, um, I, I do have trash divining. It was, unfortunately, I didn't realize what had happened, and I took trash divining, divining. If I had known what was going on, I probably would have saved what few skill points I had left for things like cooking and gathering and tinkering so that we could continue to, uh, acquire some achievements. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Hindsight is 2020. Or 4040 if you're a mutant, I guess. You discover a rust bug. There it is. We found it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and completely take it, take everything of value here. As one does when you find a rust bug. Force bracelet, nice. Cast gaslight Chris, also very good. Vibro blade, excellent. Uh, might, might be do. Oh, there's one more chest. Hate kudzu. Cannot stand kudzu. Siphon baton. Oh, I didn't mean to tinker it. Oh, I didn't mean to disassemble it. I wanted it for the money. Ah, uh, shoot. This is what happens when you're moving at like a breakneck speed. Okay, so we're heading back to Diva. No, sorry, not Dava. Dava. Yeah, big difference. Gotta know know your know your cities and your towns and the differences between them. Okay. I don't think this will be enough reputation. Located the rust bog. So unfortunately, it's probably gonna mean we have to do one other thing for them, but I'm still gonna try. Uh portable beehive. <laughs> Uber Nostrum, Salt, Sphinx, Sphinx and Jack. Uh. Scholar of Brewing, humiliating to... So we get some recipes. Uh, not really worth it. We'll take the Uber Nostrum. So hey, buddy. Uh, about the Slinth. Nope. That really sucks. That is really just a shame. 
That is a darn shame, and I don't think that there's anything I can do about that. I'm sure, like, just a little bit more reputation would be enough to be on good terms with them. And, uh, or at least good enough terms with them that, uh, you know, we could talk about the slint. So, unless I get abs absurdly lucky and find someone who is hated by the villagers of Dava, which I'm sure, I think I have gotten a couple of times, but unless that happens, then I'm kind of stuck on this whole slinth problem. So, uh, I guess there's not really much one can do, except we're going to go and check out some Baroque ruins. Why not? For the money and the lulls. You're famished. How are we doing on equipment? Everything seems to be okay. I was playing with the idea um, of duplicating the uh, Aborokoro's Fist so that we can dual wield Aborokoro's Fist. Smart saps. Pretty sure they take your um, intelligence. Uh, let's go ahead and Temporal Fugue. Getting a bunch of stuff from this already. Okay, we'll go ahead and rest. I'll, I'll try and rest anyway. My rest button is still not working. A lot of things happening right now that are just like not, not great for business. Purple gel to the east. I don't have guns akimbo anymore, so like I'm 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 like permanently nerfed. Purple gels are kind of a problem. It's amazing how relevant gels stay throughout the entire game. Like they're they're in the new area, they're everywhere. They're, they're, they're always around and they're, they're always tough. They're always really tough. Nice thing about the Baroque Ruins is we're going to get a ton of tinkering stuff. And I could definitely use some more, um, flawless crystals so that we can, uh, get some EMP grenades. This isn't good. This place is definitely uh, quite the beast. I like how there's just kind of herbaries hanging out, hanging around. Not sure what the deal is with that. Lush acid coat. Oh, you take two damage from acid. Taking a little bit of damage from acid. That's fine. We've got a memory eater. The memory eater is apparently okay with us. We've got data disks on the ground. Uh, we have data disks on the ground that my character did not pick up. <laughs> Why not? Spiral Borer? Do I know this? Yeah, I already know this recipe. Still, that's pretty valuable. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make a Spiral Borer. Um, it's just, it makes traversing uh, a ruin a lot easier. Because if there's anything that you like really don't want to have to deal with, was there something just now? Oh yeah, memory eater. Um, you can always like, you know, kind of more easily avoid them, I guess. So we're going to continue down. This is probably, like, we're probably going to die. I, the worst part about um, role play mode in a way is that like the consequences are, you know, abated. You don't have as many consequences, but then also you find yourself in situations like this where it's like, well, um, you know, I'm trying to make some extra money. Things are, are going to be tougher. We're going to get a lot more money by exploring the Baroque Ruins. Sure, if I die, I don't lose everything. However, I still find myself in a, in a bizarre situation where it's like, do I go back? Uh, we don't need an Enigma cap. I was thinking we've got some Beth here. What are those gloves? Carbide gauntlets. Those are just whatever. Thermal Grenade Mark III. We've got some jewels. Peridot. I was thinking we could jump into that portal. 
In we go. That was the 10th time I've done something like that. We are in a very different landscape. Uh, nothing really exciting here. This looks like some average caves of cud. Nothing, nothing exciting. This is akin to the Red Rock Mountain. So we are only nine strata deep also. Really just have to like do some exploration. Um, let's go back to Eat Freehold. Actually, instead of that, let's go to Dava. Not Dava. Dava. Um, our hometown. And see if we can't um, buy some more stuff from the Icar Merchant. It's It's been long enough. I do want to go back to the Baroque Ruins. I was actually kind of enjoying that. But also, it's, it's making us some pretty good cash. Not really sure uh, what... Like, I might just, like, call this character when we get the 30 clones achievement, because that, that was kind of the, the impetus for the entire run, right? So, I think that that would be good enough. That would be a good enough stopping point, and I don't think that there's really anything else I could do, other than for certain, like, death achievements. Um, I could certainly do those, but I can do those anytime, right? There's, there's not really any, you know... I guess we could end the run by dying. I could get, do 30 clones of myself and then die. <laughs> you know, that would be that would be a good way to end things. Maybe let me know in the comments. How about that? Let me know in the comments how you think I should end the run. Okay, we got some more brain brine. Can't remember how much more I need. Not not much. We're very close on the brain brine. Let me have a quick look. Four. Okay, so we need three more brain brine. Sell all this junk. Ooh, smooth peridot gemstone is 420. Hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we'll sell that nuclear cell. Uh, light rail. Spacer rifle is worth a pretty penny. Space inverter is also worth a pretty penny. Um, space inverter would be great. If we could get Beam Splitter. So I might actually keep that. That's a, another achievement, potentially. Let's sell this Arc Winder. I think uh, I, yeah, I already have the Arc Winder I need. Pony up 82 drams. Hey, I just realized we, we have Tinkering again. I'm wondering if we could modify our current Arc Winder. Sure, that's fine. Um, let's, let's have a quick look. Tinkering. Modify... Can we modify our current arc winder to have jacked? I guess we don't have electrical generation anymore, so that really doesn't matter. We don't have beam splitter, right? Yeah, no, we don't. Oh, extra dimensional, high voltage. We are going to need meta crystals if we want to do anything with this. Okay, well, yeah, that's that's kind of that. Uh, let's talk to our next uh, Icar merchant. We have nothing on this. So we can learn some lore, maybe? Nope. Um, what about this one? Nope. Sunslag ain't gonna do it for us anymore. Last one? One brain brine. Okay. I wonder if you can uh, polymorphic gel brain brine. Probably not, huh? Um, that's a good chunk of change and we can sell... I don't want to sell the space inverter. Alright, I'll keep the crystal... Flawless crystal mace. And we'll sell the light rail. Perfect. Okay, so I think I only need two more brain brine. Confirming... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And I also just want to double check. I am, in fact, only seven away for Brain Brian. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me see. Yeah, I'm seven away from Brain Brian. Okay. That'd be a good way to end things, honestly. It's just like consuming the rest of my stuff. Um. All right. Where to next? I could check out the other villagers, the other villages that I have, see if any of them are on bad terms with Diva. 
That's actually not a bad idea. I like that idea. Um, let's see. I I kind of don't want to do Bela. <laughs> um, I think that that would be in, in bad taste. So there's Dara Pier. Um, I have a ton of goat folk villages. Sir Sir Kapur. Uh, Bipamir, Bimu. You really do say a lot of things when you play this game, don't you? Go folk, go folk. Hearth of Wife of a Purr. I don't know what that is. Hydropon. Um, Tamur Grove. I don't know what some of this is, but we're going to check it out. Okay, so we've got a couple of locations now to check out. We're going to go back to eat. You guessed it. Eat Freehold. It, it just, it's like a, it's like it's a theme or something. I think there's a either a ruin or something. No, I guess that's the rust bog in the bottom right corner. Okay. Um, all right. So this is Hydropon. We could have a quick look at Hydropon. I don't think anyone there is going to have reputation, but we could take, take a quick look. Uh, doesn't look like we can talk to anyone. I thought that, I, I guess this is a, some, a bug, but like it's not intended to be this way, but the, the main slinth is um, not a point of interest, so I can't just like find them. I hope they're not dead. Okay, there they are. Um, okay, I have... Yes, I have news about the Slint Sanctuary. The mechan Mechanimus of the Sixth Day still agreed to accept the Slint as their own. Worshippers of Shekneha, Shekneha? Fascinating. I don't know what to think of that. Maybe what my kin need, now I consider it. The canticles make less, little less sense to me, but they are uh, compelling. More compelling than me, certainly. I will discuss this with the others. The Brathermites of Gritgate agreed to accept the Slint. Did you say Brathermite? So that's how it's pronounced. Gritgate is a... That's where Q Girl resides, isn't it? She wrote my favorite book, Distinct Disquisition on the Malady of the Mimic. I imagine such a home would have a positive effect on my kin. I will speak to them. Well, we need to find one more home for them. So we, we don't get anything... Uh, we don't get any reputation from them. So let's keep looking. There's the... Va there's another village here, Darapir. I don't know if I've ever been to Darapir. Apparently not. So this could be, this could provide us with a bit of reputation, depending on how, what the relations is with uh, Deva. Okay, let's do a quick explore. Snapjaw Warlord. Doing a quick, quick look around. I can't tell what is, what's a statue and what's a person. There's a lot of legendaries here. One would hope that they have reputation at all. But villagers are, tend to be kind of disappointing, if I'm being honest. Yo, is that a... I swear to God, there's a cherub. Is there a cherub here? Warden. They are... That is 100% a cherub. Damn. Belongs to the cast of the Electric Cherubim. Wow. That is the heftiest warden I think I've ever seen. Okay, let's let's talk to some legendaries. Um, loved by the villagers of Darapir, hated by the ch children of Mamon, disliked by the fellowship of wardens. Okay, well, that's not really what we need. You are, um, loved by villagers of Darapir, disliked by Neftali, tribe, disliked by the villagers of Dagad, disliked by tortoises. Okay, well, this is a very much a needle and haystack situation. Hated by robots. Almost worth it. Dis loved by the villagers of Dara Dara Pier. Also disliked by the villagers of Dara Pier. Um, I'm gonna put a pin on that one. Hated by robots. I, I could always use some um, robot rep. Hated by Pewdis Templar. Hated by winged mammals. Hated by villagers of Darsamas. Honestly, there's enough people here loved. There's enough. Legendaries here loved by Dara Pier that maybe this is actually viable. If only I had oh, I guess I do have customs and folklore. Okay, that's good to know. Um shoot. 
So there's... What was our reputation with this town? We're actually at 200. That's not bad. If we were to make friends with all of them, that would be 600, I think. Reputation. This could be it. We could actually do it here, I think. I, I'm, I'm actually... I, I'm pretty sure that we have what we need here. Um, we're going to be absolutely destroying our reputation with everyone else. But the, the, the fact that this one village has four um legendaries it's kind of a big deal okay one more is this the one that is uh loved and also hated no we i think we already did that one it is it's still worth um making doing a water ritual with someone who's both loved and disliked by the same village if that is possible and it is possible apparently because disliked is, is a specific term it means they have um, they only you only lose a little bit of reputation whereas loved is a specific term meaning you gain a lot of reputation So it's still worth doing that. Okay, so we're at 650 um, I wonder if that's enough If not, we could still do a quest for them. Let's talk. To, we need to talk to the right person Did That's a king snapjaw king You have done much for Dara up here your and your request benefits your stature if these slinth will join us in raiding villages, and if they can come to cherish DO5, legendary dynamic turret tinker as we do, then they are welcome here. Welcome strangers howling at the moon, but teach them the irreverence of irreverence towards DO5, legendary dynamic turret tinker. Confirm dare up here as a sanctuary option. We've done it. Finish the step, consult settlements of the quest landing pads. Amazing. We've done it. I can't believe it. We got really lucky with this, with this place. Electric meat kebab. Whenever you drop below 20%, you release an ele electromagnetic pulse at level 8. I can't believe we got that lucky. So let's go ahead and uh, finally slap a pin on this, on this uh, slinth quest. Now, I'm pretty sure you do get some very specific rewards for completing the slinth quest. Um, which I'm not going to be able to take advantage of, unfortunately. I could, you know, manipulate the situation to do so, but I, uh, you know, I don't think it's worth it, not for this run. And, and also not for, like, th there's no legitimate reason why I, would sh I should take advantage of that. Okay, I have news. The villagers of Dara Pier have has agreed to accept the slint as their own. I read the history once that mentioned Dara Pier. Taking note of their reverence for DO5, a legendary dynamic tinker, and equal loathing of rever irreverence towards DO5, legendary dynamic turn tinker. Will my kin accept the life of raiding villages? I will consult them. <laughs> All right. Wander, thank you. I will tell my kin of these places. We will convene and discuss, and we will uh, choose. Please be patient in the meantime. As you say, Tha, I will return. I wonder if I can just do that now. It is time. After some discussion and deliberation, uh, we have come to, to consensus most of our number will join the Mechanimus faith and reside at the stilt grounds at the edge of the Mogurayi. Our immigration de party departs for the six-day stilt in the morning. May the Ar Argent Fathers watch over you. One last little thing, Uk Umir, about your reward. It's not quite finished, but now I know just what it needs. Please return to the Hydropon after my kin have safely reached their new home, and I will give it to you. I will not leave the cradle. Uh, your reputation with the Mechanimus have decreased by 600. Oh no. They are not happy to have the slinth. Your reputation with newly sentient beings increased by 300 to 155. Belong, friends. You have received a new quest. Return to the Hydropon. What is return to the Hydropon? Once the slinth have arrived at their new home, speak to Tha at the Hydropon. Wow, um, 600 reputation. That's that's absurd. All right, um, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed this episode and are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. And thank you very much to these coffee subscribers. You're doing great. Appreciate you, bud.